In this video, I'm going to show you the Access Ally affiliate system and just some best practices around creating your own affiliate program. So here we are on our front page of our Access Ally site and we have an affiliate interest application. So basically this is a very simple form where we ask a couple of questions like name, email, website, um, address, social media profile links, PayPal email address, and then just some other questions about what would make someone a good affiliate and why they want to become an affiliate. So this is totally up to you. You can decide to do some sort of an application system like this one where people have to tell you a little bit more about themselves before they can become an affiliate. We've also uh, done it another way where people could just submit their name and email and immediately become an affiliate. You could also ask for PayPal address, which is how most people tend to pay their affiliates. Um, and so that could just be a very simple form done in your CRM. So that could be your ConvertKit, Infusionsoft, Entreport, Drip or ActiveCampaign, whatever system you're using. It would just be a regular opt-in form. Um, and so what you would do after that, after they fill that out is decide if you wanna make them an affiliate. So for us, we kind of review their website. We make sure they're a legitimate person. We approve them, we apply uh, the affiliate tier uh, to them. So the affiliate tier tag is something that you set up inside of the Access Ally affiliate system. So for us, it's a very simple tag just called affiliates and ambassadors. It could just literally be affiliate. Um, we also have different types of affiliates. So we have um, our certified partner affiliates, and um, we also have sometimes a two tier type of affiliates. So that's something that we have set up as well here inside of our tiers in Access Allies affiliate system. Um, but just a straightforward setup would just be one tag. You choose how long you want to track the affiliate link for. So what that means is if somebody uh, clicks on a link and then does not purchase, right away, but they purchase within 90 days, this person will still get the affiliate commission. And so you can make this as long as you want, and that can actually be a great way to get people on board as an affiliate is to make this a very long window. And we've seen people, you know, do it for a whole year. We've seen people do it as short as, you know, one day or 30 days. So it really is up to you how, how long you want to make this. Uh, then you also decide your commission percentage. So for us, we offer a 30% commission on Access Ally. And then we also make it recurring. So that means we don't stop after a specific period of time. And so that means, you know, people can keep earning for years to come. Um, you could also say, okay, this is a, uh, a payment plan, or maybe there's just, you know, a one-time payment. I'm only going to pay for the first payment, for example. So you could totally make this be you know a three you only pay for the first three payments or the first payment but for now i'm going to keep that as it is now the other thing with access ally is you can also override specific products so let's say there's some products and i'm going to add some overrides here just as an example um, that maybe you don't want to give a commission on or maybe you want to give a bigger commission on so in this case this is a playbook that we've created let's say i want to give 50 percent on this i could do that right here um, you could also make it 0%. So if you have one-on-one -on -one coaching packages or something that you don't want to give a commission on, that's a way to override the affiliate commission on specific products. Um, so let me also show you on the front end what our affiliates will see when they log in to our affiliate center. So the first thing that you see here is the ledger. So people can see, okay, when was the last purchase, what product it was, who it was, as well as the email, which is extremely helpful. And not all affiliate systems do this. So in Access Ally, people can come in, and if you're offering bonuses as an affiliate, you can come in and grab the email address and then email this person their bonus after the refund period, for example. So that's really, really helpful. You can also put together uh, a little place where people can just grab their link right away on their affiliate ledgers page. Um, and the other thing that we've done, which is a great way to go as well, is to create a little page that has um, social media and swipe copy and things that people can just grab and start promoting with right away. So here we have, you know, finally a WordPress membership site plugin that won't have you pulling your hair out. And then we have their affiliate link built in automatically as well. And so you can see we've got specific things for different CRMs. Uh, and so people can come in here and link to different pages as well. And um, all of these links are actually set up here inside of the Access Ally backend where you can say, okay, we want one link for the pricing page, one for the features page, one for the Y Access Ally page, one for the integration page, and just all the way down the list, we have a bunch of different links for different pages. We can also see uh, link clicks, and this is new. So basically 
this is a great way to see where people are clicking from. And this is something that not a lot of affiliate systems will show you. So you can see what uh, page this person came from when they click that link. So you can see which link is generating traffic and which pages or reviews or people are sending you the most traffic as well. Uh, and then we've got the ability to do payout calculations, which is obviously very, very important. So what you can do here is you can generate a report and you can see who needs to be paid out. And you can also uh, download this payout report, which is extremely important. So as you can see here, we have our Access Ally affiliate log with all of the affiliates, and these are all tests at the moment. Um, the amounts, which products, the purchaser ID, the commission, um, and, and really, you know, you can kind of see the amounts that you will need to pay out to your affiliates. Now back here on the front end, you can also include different types of graphics that people can grab and take and share on social media or in other places that they are using to run their affiliate system. You can also set up a leaderboard inside of the Access Ally affiliate section. So, um, this is a great way to have people really kind of be incentivized to share and to use your affiliate links. So in this case, you can do an affiliate tracking for the most opt-ins as well as the most sales of a specific or all products. So this is a great way to incentivize people to get people to share. And this will also auto update on your site. So this is a great feature if you're doing a live launch or a special promotion or campaign. Um, another thing that I like to recommend is to just have uh, some, you know, insights or some uh, resources for people to share and to learn how to be a good affiliate. Um, and then I also like to have a rules and agreement page. And so this is just to keep things very clear with your affiliates. What's allowed? Can people purchase from their own affiliate links? Yes or no. Um, you know, what else is possible for your affiliates to be able to do? Can they run ads? Can they, uh, you know, pay for a domain that includes your business name in it. So all of these things are things you'll want to clarify inside of a rules and agreements type of document. Uh, and so this is kind of an example of how you can do an affiliate dashboard inside of Access Ally. Um, and I, let me show you also how to add those affiliate, affiliate links that you just created inside of Access Ally here under link setup. So it's really easy to insert back into a page. So what I've done here is I used a little text area um, with two rows to use to insert my Access Ally affiliate link, but you could also just put it really anywhere on a page and all you would do is click on the Access Ally short code and then come on down here to Access Ally and then you can choose um, the affiliate links right here. And so if you'll see here, there's a difference between CRM affiliate links and Access Ally affiliate links. So this is if you're using Entreport or Infusionsoft, uh, their affiliate systems, those are separate links. And so you would come in here and then you'll see all the links that you've created previously. So you can just go ahead and insert that, insert the short code, and that will be the affiliate link for the person who is an affiliate. And so one thing also that you could do is you can use the course wizard in Access Ally to create your affiliate dashboard and your affiliate area so that they need to have the affiliate um, tags in order to see this page. And if they don't, you could send them to a sign up to be an affiliate page, which would be a great thing to do on this page as well. You'll find a lot more on how to set this up inside of the Access Ally knowledge base. So I encourage you to read through those tutorials as well.